All right, I'm gonna preface this video. My voice is shot. I was sick for about a week before this, and then I recorded MHA and Chainsaw Man last week, and it just absolutely rolled it. But I have to be here. I have to watch. Both are at such crazy points that if I don't see what happens next, I'm gonna lose it. But welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster. I, Shinobi. We have episode 124 of our MHA watch today called Dobby's Dance. Very clean title. I'm guessing we're gonna get some Dobby screen time. Hopefully, also see what happens between Ochako and Toga, because that left off on a really tense moment. If you knew the channel drop us up and hit that big white bell and let's hop into it what kind of fighter jet is this who is body hasn't recovered best genus what a okay i can't explain my voice too much what a random return oh my gosh has best genus like oh no the last thing that happened was it tricked us into thinking that hawks was killing best genus and that was when it was supposed to plant the seed of doubt but best genus hasn't really had a part in the story ever since we thought he he died from uh all for one if i remember correct that was so long ago so is he saying don't move anymore because he just wants this fight to be over because if he hits the ground then he'll just die but deku knows someone's gonna catch him but i think maki is gonna make it there in time he stopped himself from falling and it's him fighting Oh, shoot. Nejere. Those are her beams, right? Yes. Let's go. And eat up, baby. Was that all for one? Ta and Shigaraki talking to each other? Shigaraki really doesn't want to have to need all for one. Oh, it's just expelling. It's like he's out of control, but in control at the same time. It's so intimidating. Oh, back to these two. Okay, close quarters for both of them. But all Ochako has to do is touch her once. I guess all she has to do is stab her once, inherently. Don't let her monologue. Oh. Did she mean to throw it through the window? Is all part of the plan? Oh my gosh. She killed someone as Ochako? That is so dark. God dang, dude. <laughs> That's probably the exact thing I expected her to say. I would never gain. Oh. Didn't Deku give that to her? Uh, she's just munching on it. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Hey, I feel like All Might merchandise all automatically equals uh, Deku's property. He probably owns like 90% of stock. Zero satellites? Oh, because they're satellites because they're kind of like all like in orbit? But there's more than zero. Oh, no. Ochako, you better run. This is villain monologue time. Is she dodging all of those? She's gonna chuck him. Oh, wait. Let's go, Sue. For a second, I thought it was Aizawa. I was like, no, wait. I don't think he can right now. Oh, I hear Makia. He's coming. Is she gone? Oh, no. No, she wants to, to settle this. She wants to figure this out. She's, oh, maybe not. Oh, I guess she got some kind of answer. Not really one that satisfied her, though. The same person as me. I mean, I guess she got her feelings out, but it didn't solve much. And now Makia's here. Oh, no. Dude. All for one's, like, manifestation is so creepy. It fall apart. Oh, wow. Oh. Is he just gonna grab Shigaraki and run? Well, he told, he told Shigaraki to run and, and heal. Yeah, they good. They need to keep just, just throwing everything they have at him. Good stuff. The duo, baby. The combo move. Oh, my gosh. Wait, I thought they, they saw him. They knew he was coming. Armored four eyes. Bakugo, you cannot do much. At least I'm presuming from the state you're in. God dang, dude, he's in rough shape. 
What? How can you apologize, bro? You used everything you had. I guess because he hasn't lived up to his own expectations. He made that pro I guess that's why. He said he would be the best. He would be number one. He'd surpass him. All right, let's see why Dobby's got the title spotlight. <laughs> this is great. Is that water? Is this a transformation? Toya? Wait, what? No way. Wait. <gasps> No way! It's true. The, all the all the fan theories and everything for years. Oh my God! Endeavor didn't know. How did he not know? Nobody knew. <sighs> but they knew a Toya existed. They just didn't know it was Dobby. What? What? They knew he existed, they just didn't... What is happening? I can't scream! Oh yeah, because the fire and ice. What? Oh my god, everybody is seeing this. That's, that's why he needed him. Oh my gosh, Skeptic is broadcasting it everywhere. He, he's demonizing the number one hero. Oh my gosh. He demonized Endeavor. Oh my gosh. Dude, his hair looks sick. Your puppet Shoto. God, I've never heard Dobby sound like this. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's, it's him. It's the true him. Dude, Endeavor is so stunned. He doesn't know what to do. I mean, this is his son, this absolute monster. But he is himself acting like a monster. Jesus. Oh my god. What does this change though? Is this when they were separated or when it happened? Oh. Did the league find him? Did they just stitch him back together? That's all they found? Oh, is, that, is that all they found because of what happened? Because like the league may have taken him? That's what he wanted from marrying her. Oh. Why do I have a feeling this is snowballing into him having that kind of power? He always just wanted that, that perfect hero. So even though he only had fire, he was still stronger, had more potential. He was proud. So, so it's not, he he thought the body was gone and he failed and he killed him. Or he, I, I'm assuming it was because of the training. But that's why there were always theories was because he was flame type. But uh, the real question is how he survived. If if the league, I'm guessing maybe all for one took his body, recreated him, and and doing this to get back at Endeavor. He took his blood and transformed him into this demon. Dude, they they checked all their boxes. Oh my gosh. Dude, you can do so much to so much damage to one's body, but his public reputation is different too everybody is supposed to see heroes in one way damn i want to see what all might's saying right now or seeing right now it'll shake some it'll shake some for sure oh no 
no. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is this is such an another level from just raw fighting. Yeah, but Genus isn't dead. We saw the beginning of this episode. So that that that, that gets rid of some credibility at least. So the Hawks' his father wasn't a great guy, but his father was Cobbinder. Do we know who it is? Oh, it's just yeah, it's the criminal, just the villain. They're they're the heroes. They're the justice. My heart is beating, man. Oh man. Whoever talks first wins. Dude. People are gonna listen. Yeah, no matter who you are. Oh my gosh. He really thought he was dead. You can't you can't rock endeavor. You can't blame him. Oh, he can't even move. Oh, Shoto. Oh, this is so sad. He can't even move. This is so sad. Is that Gina's ship? What a tease, bro. Oh my gosh, he's here. The credibility, like I said, he's not dead. Let's go, baby. Once again, I ask myself, why do I watch this weekly? Why? I'm doing my best to not strain my voice. It, it already hurts a little bit, but my goodness. What an insane reveal this episode. The, all the mysteries surrounding and surrounding Dobby this entire time has led to this and it did not disappoint. And now we have some more, uh, I guess, of a conclusion on the entire thing with Hawks because there was a lot of mystery whenever he confronted Hawks all the way back at the, the villain hideout. And how he knew Hawks his name and he knew Hawks' past. And while it wasn't that important, it helped it helped project his own story that he gave to the people. We see there's already holes in his story that he gave to the people. I mean, Hawks is a good guy from what we've seen, but he's able to frame it this way of how Twice died, even though he was perfectly fine with Twice dying. We saw, I mean, Hawks saw that he burned to kill Twice. He didn't care about Twice. But like that person said, whoever speaks first wins because now the whole public rep of all these heroes is, is shifted. But dude, I, I've never seen Endeavor like that. And like I said, I feel like there's a reason they're not showing All Might's reaction. A, because it focused on Todoroki's family, of course, because that's the most important part. It's most of like who thought he was dead and the reaction to the information of him just being alive in general. But also, like I said, I mean, Endeavor's a uh, rep, like what people think about him. We saw in his eyes, I truly believe that he thought Toya was dead, but I guess we'll just have to keep watching to find out, man. This is this season is absolutely nuts. Hey guys, that has been it for episode 124 of our MHA watch through. Do drop us up on the channel if you are new and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, peace.